It said that the leopard guards its territory with its aura. That is why, even though it's been about a week since City TV's war against and disciplined team has been on the Spintex Road, motorists who use this place regularly make us understand that the level of indiscipline has reduced. However, like you know, when the cut is away, the mice will always play. And so we are back on the Spintex Road to stamp out indiscipline. Then came a surprise. We saw a police vehicle drive against traffic behind an SUV. We later realized the driver was MP for Takwa and Swaim, who had ignored an earlier command to stop at the Coca-Cola roundabout. Did you first arrest him and he failed to stop? Yeah, uh, at the Coca-Cola roundabout, he was spotted driving on the wrong side of the road, that is on the shoulders. So our men stopped him but he failed to stop. So we gave him a hot chase without knowing. He said then we didn't know who he was. We chased him, I will go to um, Robin Hood area. We had given an advance notice to our men to also stop him. When he got here, he failed to stop once again. So we pursued him up to a point and had him uh, accosted. We nosed around for a glimpse of the MP and a word from him, but he insisted the police speaks to him in his car. That way, he escaped our cameras, perhaps taking a cue from his colleague, Kede MP, Kwabna Ohiming Tenyasi. Just as he's driving in the middle of the road, that's exactly how he was arrested. He failed to stop. We understand he is uh, George Mirekuduka, he's a member of parliament. He did not have his license when the police arrested him. But because he's an MP and he's driving himself and he can be easily identified, he's been given a chit and processed for court like every other driver. He will be in court. We've caught up with the Deputy Minister for Information, Pius Enam Hajida. He was quietly following traffic. So I want to have a quick conversation with you, Pius. We saw George Mekuduka who was using his hazard and beating traffic. Why are you not doing the same? <laughs> Uh, well, I think that the, the, the right things must, must be done and uh, we are encouraged. This matter has come up at the executive level uh, several in meetings with His Excellency the President, uh, in meetings with His Excellency the Vice President, and we are always admonished to uh, lead by example and to lead from the front. When people see their leaders doing well by the laws of the country, uh, they are more inclined to observe and respect the laws themselves. When they see their leaders uh, breaching the law with impunity, uh, they are not encouraged to also uh, do same. Talk amongst a lot of uh, of us in in the executive uh, is that well, this is what we have always complained about, and we have had uh, the opportunity to commend uh, the police. We have had the opportunity to commend uh, City TV, City FM uh, for uh, this this project. Uh, we think that this is positive journalism. Uh, I mean, uh, and this is what we want to encourage. The East Legon police station was the holding area for the impounded vehicles. Generally, today's operation was a bit normal because looking at the vehicles and drivers plying that route, most of them were law abiding. But we, asked, we were able to process 22 drivers for various offenses, mostly driving on the verges. And as we speak, eight of the vehicles are impounded at the East Legon police station with the remaining driver's licenses retained for them to report at the court. As we speak, we've sent some of the process forms to the central MTTD to be finally typed and sent to the court. Come rain or shine, no matter who you are, if you decide to engage in any act of indiscipline, especially on our roads, City TV's war against indisciplined team, together with the Ghana Police Service, will catch up with you and you will be hot. So stay away from indiscipline on the road. Caleb Kuda for City News.